Hi there. So in one of our previous video, we discussed the innovative current meter circuits and one of them was this uh, Wilson current meter, as you can see on the screen. And we said that this current meter is designed to provide relatively more constant current source or the sink. And uh, it means in the output characteristics, one it is once it is on, it is going to provide a constant current source or sink, irrespective of the variations in the load. And uh, it it provides also much more accurate input to output current gain. So your uh, I out divided by I reference or I in is approximately equal to one, most closely equal to one, unlike a simple two transistor based BJT based current mirror uh, where uh, the, the output current was equal to input current that is I reference minus two times IB. So the gain of the transistor wasn't exactly equal to one, but Wilson current mirror helped us to reduce that error due to finite uh, base currents on the BJT Q1 and Q2. So what we did is we added the transistor Q3 and this is uh, this uh, gain error due to the base finite base currents of the BJTs are applicable uh, due to the early effect of the transistors. And that is only we are talking about the BJTs. In case of a MOSFET based current mirrors, that's not applicable because the MOSFETs, uh, the gate currents are ideally zero. In fact, they don't exist. So we are talking about in the context of BJT. So coming back to Wilson current mirror, it helps us to reduce this error. And finally, we got this expression because I out was precisely equal to I reference. And uh, here is that the difference between I in and I out uh, here, uh, I out, I reference minus I out was equal to two IB in this equation. But here for the Wilson, we have this kind of uh, expression. So assuming the beta is very, very greater than one for the transistor, this current is negligible. And that that's what made the output current is equal to the input current in the Wilson. So what we did is that we uh, force the input current into this node and therefore the voltage got generated here at the base of transistor Q3 or say at the collector of transistor Q1 and Q3 acted as an emitter follower or voltage buffer with a gain uh, of v emitter voltage approximately equal to the voltage at the base uh, or the one voltage drop less than the voltage at the collector. So your VE was like, let's say VC1, VE3 was VC1 minus VBE of three. So here, and the gain of this transistor, the beta helped us due to use of negative feedback. So when this voltage got raised, this voltage got raised. And due to that, the voltage at the base of both of the Q1 and Q2 got up, uh, making uh, the collector current flow through the transistor Q1. And therefore, with the assumption that uh, your Q1 and Q2 are perfectly matched, uh, we got the expression IC3 equal to I out. So here was that assumption. We said that the base currents uh, of all the three transistors are equal, equating to IB, and then collector current of the transistor applying the KVL at this node, we said it is equal to input current minus the base current because we are applying the KCL here. And then we got the value of IE3 which is equal to input current plus the base current. And finally, we arrived at this expression that I out is, uh, pro is equal to I in. Uh, so that's how the Wilson current. So detailed explanation how we derived and uh, these equations are given in our previous model. So please refer to that. And then this was the circuit about how after uh, 
making sure that the output current equals the input current we connected uh, the register to explain that okay by register we will generate the input current into the circuit that will go and then we'll say after matching the ic3 to the input current ir1 we will connect the load so that the transistor q3 will act as a current source now uh we we still uh, can improve this performance of the wilson current mirror especially at the high currents if we have the current uh, mirror to be operated in the milliampere current range so we can make some arrangement so this circuit that i am going to show you is an improved version of the wilson current mirror so on your screen uh, you can see that uh, we have this uh, basic version and then uh, this is how the circuit arrangement we just discussed but what if instead of this is a three transistor arrangement this is three transistor arrangement and now instead of three transistor we are going to use the four transistor arrangement so you can see that the idea here is to uh, make sure or force the voltage at the collectors of transistor Q1 and Q2 to be equal. So VC1 is equal to VC2 and then this improved Wilson current mirror will remove the current uh, error, the gain error of the current to a negligible level. So this is the equation for the Wilson current mirror and it will further improve this one. Then only uh, the error that needs to be addressed is due to the finite beta of the transistors and uh, some other uh, can be there. But the penalty here is that you have to uh, have a cascading of the transistors. So the compliance voltage or the output voltage that you apply here, that is the minimum B out has to be <coughs> maintain in order for q3 and q2 to operate in the saturation region so that's the penalty so here uh, if you want to do the analysis you can say that uh, you don't need a register also to uh, to to get the current uh, to set the uh, current into the q1 because q4 is doing that for you unlike here you have a register to make the current flow through the q1 and then I in again, you need to generate it through some mechanism, for example, I uh, R here, and then you have this I in that will here the collector and the base of the transistor Q4 are shorted together. So they are diode connected transistor and then uh, your voltage at the collector is uh, reduced by one voltage drop VBE, right? So we can say that uh, voltage uh, at the collector is reduced by one voltage of VB here. Okay, and you see the arrangement. Uh, this is this diode is uh, diode. This transistor is diode connected. This transistor is diode connected here, and this is how you. It will also improve the output resistance of the of the current mirror circuit okay so here it is how it is. current mirror advantage again it has an extended linearity for the operation at the high currents as i just mentioned if you want to design a current current mirror in the milliampere line so you can use this cascode arrangement with the four transistor wilson current mirror so this will reduce the gain error also to a negligible level and to, to a great level matching the input and the output current or making the difference between input and output current to a negligible level okay